Hi, I'm Chris with Adventures in DIY. And these are some carving mallets I made without a lathe. <laughs> Let me show you how I did it. Try to find a branch that has a 12 to 14 inch section that's pretty straight. We're going to start shaping the largest cylinder of the mallet first. Find the center of both sides of the piece and scribe a circle on them. At first I thought I'd be all bushcraft and Davy Crockett by shaping this thing with a hatchet. And then I realized how long that was going to take. And I busted out the carving disc on the angle grinder. Once you get the rough shape, you can refine it with a belt sander. Another way I found that worked was using a hand plane. Just like before, mark a small reference circle for the handle. Cut a reference depth at the transition from the handle to the head so you know how much to remove. Just like before, rough out the area with the grinder and then finish it with the belt sander. Use the edge of the belt sander to make a nice curved transition between the handle and the head of the mallet. Create yourself a reference for where the handhold portion ends by filing it out. From there you shape the handle so it fits your hand. I guess the olive wood branch wasn't dry enough because it ended up splitting. So to fix this thing, I summoned the spirit of Peter Brown and epoxied that sucker. For shaping the end, I tried two things. First was an angled chip look using a knife, and then the other was sanding a smooth round over with the belt sander. The finish is a couple coats of tongue oil. So are these things perfectly cylindrical? No, they're not. <laughs> but that doesn't stop them from working. Well, I'd like to thank you for watching. If you don't mind, please like, share, and subscribe. Most of all, get out there, make something, and we'll see you next time.